Yo, what is up guys? In today's video we're gonna be doing a D'Angelo Russell Nets rebuild with Torian Prince uh, Torian Prince and we're gonna try and sign Kyrie Irvin who Kyrie Irvin who really wants to come to the Brooklyn Nets. So we're gonna kinda of see how what we're gonna have to do to get Kyrie Irvin. Um because without D Lo they have two max slots. With D Lo I don't really know where that puts them. So I'm gonna kinda of see where contracts are at and stuff like that. But we can't trade for Torian Prince yet until after the team player options. But I did give them their pick so they can, you know, at least pick their guy. Um, and then we need to get our three training slots. I believe it's training here. Um, we're going to sign him. And then we're going to go to the draft. We still have the 27th overall pick. So I'm going to pick that. And I'm going to see you guys rookie signings. Alrighty guys, so we ended up picking up Nicholas Claxton, which is really the only position we actually needed. Um, we needed a power forward. Uh, I could have gotten a decent shooting guard, but we didn't really need a backup shooting guard. So I just got Nicholas Claxton. He'll play in the G League for a year. Hopefully he turns to be a really good 8th, 7th, 8th man you know, off the bench or whatever. So we're going to keep him. We're going to let this man walk. Uh, Chris Wilkes. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're gone. And then our team player options. We need Alan Crabb, who accepted it, which is good, so now we could trade him. Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, all these guys accepted their team player option. We're going to have Jared Allen for another two years, which is really nice. Um, these guys I'm going to let walk, and then I'm going to do that trade here. Um, I don't think they're actually going to let me do it because I already traded the picks, um, and I know that they wouldn't just do this pick straight up, but they're going to have to. So I'm going to force them if they don't want to do this. Uh, Torian Prince here. A Joe Harris and Alex Len, definitely not Chief. Uh, that ain't it, Chief. So we're just going to turn on. Let me turn. Oh, yeah, that stuff's off already. And then we're going to turn trade over right on. Go back over to front office. Uh, here we go. All right, so now we're now going to trade Alan Crabb, who has a massive contract. Goodness, man. What were they thinking when they gave that to him? That's just nuts to me. Um, I think it's really good that they are. They did trade him, though. Um, I think that's good for them. So they do have their 2020 lottery protected first, and then we do have their second that they were going to give us. And then let me just turn this off really quick here. Alrighty, so now comes the moment of truth. Can we still sign D'Lo? That's or no, we're gonna give D'Lo a massive contract, but I'm gonna try and get Kyrie as well. The only problem is I I just don't know how much I'm gonna need to get both of them. Um. So let's see, where's D'Angelo Russell at? Here he is. Um, so we have his contract here. So we're just going to give him max deal. Um, five years here, he'll accept it. And then I'm going to offer Kyrie Irvin. What was his contract here? Celtics, four years, 130. We're not going to get him. <laughs> that sucks. 132, four years. I'll give you no trade clause. Um, let's see if we're his number one, which we are. So we're going to have to make something work here. We have 32 and a half million. So I, j I just don't know if we're going to be able to get both of them. So we have Kyrie and D'Lo. We renounce rights on everybody down here, I believe. So the moment of truth is going to come if we can even get D'Lo. Or, or Kyrie Irvin. Um, agree, agree. Come on, baby. Come on, point guard. Oh, wait, did we get him? Did we get him? Both. Come on. Wait, why am I matching? I don't want to match anything. I just want to sign D'Lo. Did it not let me sign D'Lo to Angela Russell? Oh, I'm really confused here. Okay, so we got D'Lo. For some reason, we got him on the one-year 9 mil, but we also got Kyrie Irving, which is amazing, who I believe Kyrie can play shooting guard as well. Yes, he can. Can he play shooting guard? Honestly, Kyrie Irving did play really good off the ball when he was with like LeBron and stuff, and I think D'Lo is a really good point guard. Um... So we're going to move Kyrie to the two, D'Angelo Russell to the point guard, and we're going to have Spencer Dinwiddie off the bench along with Karis LeVert. This what front court is going to be disgusting, or back court, I'm an idiot. This back court is going to be nasty. So yeah, I am, uh, I'm really excited. We also have Jarrett Allen, who's a really nice center. Um, Joe Harris, Torian Prince. Let's look at these positions. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eh, eight. So let's go pick up a power four that we really need really badly. 
Uh, I know we have literally no cap space here, but oh, we could get we can get Derek Favors. Are you kidding me right now? Who had a better season? That's my question. He had 11. He had 15 to 20. He's not a bad power forward, but he wants a little more. Jeff Green, Jamichael Green. That's not bad at all. His contract's really cheap too. Eight mil. Goodness. And they're all offering it to him, so I might just sign him. He doesn't seem to do too bad. Nine points. I don't really want him as a starting power forward, though. So what I think I'm going to do is get favor. <sighs> hmm. Let me look at their shooting here. Uh, let's see. He can definitely shoot from the three for sure. Uh, his shot IQ is a 95. Driving layup's really good. Open shot three here. Off dribble. Mid range is not that good. But let's look at favors here. Uh. 88, 75, oh my goodness. Yeah, Miritich is definitely the one to go with here. So we're going to give him just a little, like, 39 mil. I mean, it's a little, it's a much, but we'll end up trading him if he doesn't do too good for us. Um, And then let's not sign Miritich because it's not going to let me yet. Um, Yeah, Rizal is only offer. There we go. Now we got him. And then let me see. Can I get any centers here? Uh, I could get Brooke Lopez, who'd be a nice center for us. We could use him as a backup. Won't be horrible. We'll end up trading him. I think I'm just going to go one year with him. Actually, I'll go two, and I'll go team option here. 19.84. Uh, so, if he doesn't do good this year, we're getting rid of him. Um, but we can also accept the team and then trade him as well. So, this team is really nasty. I'm going to do my training camp stuff, and I'm going to see you guys with our rotation for our first season. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be our starting rotation here. We're going to have D'Lo with 35, Kyrie 36, uh, Toy and Prince going to have 30, Miritich going to have 26, Jared Allen 30, Dinwiddie 27 as our 6th man, Karis LeVert 24, Joe Harris 19, Brooke Lopez 13, and then Shabazz Napier isn't going to play. Um, I kind of wished he could play. We have Dinwiddie, so I might end up trading him. Depending on Dinwiddie's stats uh, this year. But, I mean, he had 16 points last year. It's really good. Um, and Shabazz Napier did really good. Um, if given the minutes, I think he'd be a really good player. So, I might trade him and just let him, you know, maybe be a starting point guard on a different team or something. Um, and we're going to send Nicholas Claxton to the G League. But, let's do some training here. Um, let's go player training. Uh, let's go Torian Prince for sure. Uh Let's go. Wait, what am I doing here? Uh, all load sliders. Here we go. So Toy and Prince, I want him to be more of like a a KD would be nice, but I don't really think that's the kind of player he is. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go LeBron here. I don't know. Screw it. Maybe the guy can one day be LeBron. I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, and then let's go. What like? Uh, maybe we'll go like Spencer Dinwiddie here. Uh, load sliders. We'll go 3 and D. Should we go all around point guard here for Dinwiddie. And then what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go player mentorships here. And I'm going to put, uh, let's see, Nicholas Claxton. And then I'm going to make Nikolai Miritich. Is, uh, and then we're going to go wild card, spark plug, limitless range. Or actually, he doesn't actually. He can't shoot. Nicholas Claxton's stats are horrible. Yes, and that's really all I want to uh, really want to do here. And then maybe I can. Third, we have a really old small four, which I guess we can go Joe Harris. He doesn't have any good badges, but screw it. Um, so that's about it there. And then let's check our coaching system proficiency. Oh my God, two stars for Bow. Oh my goodness, that's rough, man. Uh, that isn't bad. Um, seven seconds might be the move here, though. Let's just make sure. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to go seven seconds here and then check our midseason power rankings. And we are ranked number 18. Dang. Maybe we are going to be bad. I don't know. 26 and then. 18 as well, so I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Alrighty guys, so for some reason we went 38 and 44. I don't really know how, but yeah, that that happened. And damn, Zion 7, 23, 10 and 5 with the steal and two blocks a game. But yeah, I mean, I moved, uh, I believe, Karis LeVert to small forward, um, so he could start for us. Uh, he was putting up some really good numbers, so we'll see if that sort of helped anything. 
Um, and I moved one of them to, like, shooting guard or whatever. But, I mean, we had to make something. I mean, literally, we won. We did definitely did better, I think. Oh, we made the playoffs. Dang, that kind of means we're not going to get our uh, lottery protected first round pick, which kind of sucks. But it's okay. At, le at least we made the playoffs, which is nice. So these are the stats. Um, Kyrie Irving did tw had 23, 4, and 6. D'Lo had 18, 2, and 7.5, and shooting 47% from the field. Um, Miritich, 12, 7, and 1. Torian Prince had 11 and 3 and 1. I benched him middle of the year. He was not doing good at all. And Karis LeVert kind of, I don't know. I moved him to small four, but I did it later, later in the year. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe, maybe later down the line, he'll, uh, like next year, he should be pretty good. So Dinwiddie, 11, 11 over 10 and 10 with Jared Allen. He definitely did really good for us. Joe Harris had six, five to Lopez. Definitely not what I wanted there, but I'll take it. Nicholas Claxton might be able to start next year, depending on how he does. Our team stats, man, I don't really know. I think we'll probably get bounced in the first round, but at least we made the playoffs. I think the first year we're eighth in points per game. Um, and then our defense was what, like literally like one of the worst in the league? Okay. And our point differential, dang, negative .4 is horrible. Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on. 17. Dang, this team is trash. I think it's Kyrie. It's the Kyrie Irving effect, man. I'm telling you, man. You can make your team worse. I'm, I'm sorry for any Kyrie Irving fans, but I'm just saying, man. He, he, this is what he does. Um, So, we're going to sim against Philly. I guarantee we're going to get swept. It'd be a miracle if we win a game, which we do. Okay. Um, But, yeah, I think we'll definitely get gentlemen swept here. 3-1. And it's a wrap there. But, I mean, you know, I think the first season is definitely huge. I think we can make a huge jump next year. Um, I think this might have just been a fluke, you know. These players never play with each other. You know, we had Tori and Prince, Kyrie Irvin, both new players. Miritich, new player. Um, uh, Brooke Lopez, new player, you know. So, I mean, plus our first-round pick last year should do decent maybe. And I think I might try and swing a couple of our players that didn't play that are, like, pretty good players. I might try and swing them for uh, maybe like a decently high pick, maybe like a lottery pick this next year's draft. So I'm going to make some moves, and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, so I'm going to shop Miritich and Karukas, or what the heck, Karuks, Rodians, Karuks. I don't really know what his name is. I don't really care either. Um, I apologize for butchering it. Miritich, he had a decent stat line, but, I mean, I think we need a little better in power forward maybe. Um, and then maybe get a better bench piece would be nice. But, oh my goodness, that's a really good trade. But we could get pick four and Jabari Parker. I think that might be huge for us. What did Jabari do anyways last year? 17? But he probably had, what, like 31 minutes? Yeah. Uh, Pick four would be nice. The problem is we really need another rookie. I think it would definitely help our bench here. Let me see if I can do this without Miritich. Like, throw in, like, what, like a first. Um, and they definitely want Miritich, but I don't want that. So, what if I throw in, like, another. If I throw in two firsts, a second, and Rodian's Karukas. And no. Okay, I have a bunch of seconds. Let me just give you some seconds here. And I think they should accept this. No. Okay, that's surprising. What if I get you. Do I have another player I can give them? <sighs> Dinwiddie, definitely not. I give him Claxton, but like I kind of really want him. But I mean, if we're getting this guy, realistically, we don't need Claxton. Realistically, um, so what if we get rid of both first Claxton Crooks for Jabari Parker and fourth overall pick? Okay, and then I'll give you uh, two more seconds, maybe. Nope. What about a first? See if they'll accept a first from 2022. Really? Really, man, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, really, dude. We have to give them all. Man, this is what's wrong with me, man. I'm always trading Brooklyn Nets. I'm just out here trading their dang first round picks, bro. They never learned from the last time. Like, holy cow. Um, I'm kind of an idiot, but I don't really care. I really want this fourth overall pick. I think it'd be really good for us. Wow, I'm willing to give them three first Nicholas Claxton, Rodians, Karooks. Like, dang, man, that's so dumb. But I really think that fourth pick could be huge for us, man. I just don't really want to get rid of Miritich. Ugh. 
Man, I really... I'm going to see if I can do this without Miritich. If not, uh, I'll let you know basically the trade that we end up doing if we end up doing this trade. I'm literally willing to give them Claxton. They like what they have as far as this trade is concerned, but they won't do it. I just don't understand it. It literally makes no fucking sense. I'm willing to give as much fucking for... Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So I ended up trading literally every single first-round pick I have for the next, like, three years. But, I mean, we're definitely in win now right now. So, I mean, but I'm also not trading for, like, an aging, literally, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, right, or, and Paul Pierce. So, I mean, realistically, it's definitely better. But I think I'm kind of a dummy for doing it because it's literally the Brooklyn Nets. And, uh... Yeah, they kind of need to learn not to do that. So, uh, but whatever, you know. If it, eh, whatever, I don't really care. So, we're going to get a new trainer because for some reason this training's literally a B. Um, we're going to get this homie here. Looks good. I don't know. So, we're going to get both these. We're going to get Mike D'Antoni. Um, I think he's a pretty good coach here. And, yeah, I'm going to go to the NBA draft and see what's at the fourth pick. I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I drafted. Backup center. That means we can get her a fucking Brooke Lopez ten point ten million dollar contract. Bro, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. We have backup power four. We have backup point guard and shooting guard. We just base and power four. It's really that center spot is sort of our little weak link there. So you know what I mean? I think that's actually a really good trade. I mean that's really good. Basically traded shitting in the first but I mean we'll be good for the next how many years you know what I mean so it's like I'm not too worried but realistically this is like the best pick I think we could probably have <laughs> alrighty guys so we ended up picking up James Wiseman I think it fit perfectly for us because we definitely need a backup center which means we can give it to Brooke Lopez's 10 million dollar contract which is pretty much what I wanted and I know I traded a lot of first round picks but like I mean it's the Brooklyn Nets what can you expect you know I mean I knew if there was any team that would do something dumb like that it'd be the Brooklyn Nets so I was like screw it man I mean whatever right <laughs> so we're gonna keep Musa and Jarrett Allen for sure um and see if we have any. We have Karis Levert, which we're going to pay some money to, and probably Torian Prince. I don't really want to play the max of Torian Prince, so we'll see what they want, as in contracts here. See if we have bird rights on both of them. Oh, Delo's a free agent. God damn it, I forgot about that. I'm going to have to give him the house here. Dang, man. And we have Joe Harris. Man, we got a lot of free agents. That kind of sucks. We're going to give him the house here. Five years. I'm going to just give you five years. I mean,. You're literally our franchise player. It's realistically what they ended up doing with them anyways. So we're going to get him, which is nice. Torian Prince. We're definitely... Ah, Joe Harris. He honestly didn't do too bad for us off the bench. Um, I didn't really give him the minutes I think he deserved. So... <sighs> Let me see where our backup shooting guard is here really quick. One, two with D'Lo. Three, four with Torian Prince. Five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, we definitely could really use my guy here. Uh, definitely can get Levert, though. I think that's a no brainer here. So, he wants the house pretty much. So, we'll give him something like that. We'll give him like 60 mil. Screw it. And then Torian Prince. Oof, man. I just, I don't really want to pay the man that. But, uh, Joe Harris, we'll give you what? Two years, six mil, it's not bad. And then Torian Prince, I mean, whatever. You've used all your offers today. Okay, sick. So we're going to get both these guys here. And then we still have Torian Prince we need to offer. Honestly, we might just be able to get as restricted. I doubt it. But so let's see. One year, 14. I'll give you one year, 13. Two years, 13. So we can't get them all. Oh, wait, yeah, we can't. Wait, what? Karis Levert, agree, agree, agree. 
match. What? I'm super confused here. Um, Torrent prints decline. Torrent prints stories. I'll make sure that they're not screwing any, me over because they always do. All right, so we got our players. I'll see you guys at Coach Game Plan with our new roster. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be our rotation for next year. Uh, it's going to be D'Lo with 34, Kyrie 34, Levert 30, Jabari Parker 30. I started him over Miritich. I, I don't know, he's younger. I think he has definitely more years to be able to, uh, more. I guess, more potential to have a breakout year. Um, Jared Allen's going to have 30 as well. And then 27 to Dinwiddie, our sixth man. Miritich can have 20, Wiseman's going to have 20, and then 15 to Prince. Um... No preference in scoring. I think that they'll just sort of figure it out. And oh my gosh, seven seconds, dude. That's nuts. Oh my goodness, man. We could actually get five stars. <laughs> so it's four and a half. And let's look at our power rankings. We have the Brooklyn Nets at eight. 2K Sports has us at, goodness, 26. And then eight with Mark Spears. Season number two. I think we could be pretty good this year. But every time I say that, we're really ass. So I don't know. We'll see. See you guys at the end of season number two. Alrighty guys, so we ended up going 51-31, and 31, which is, what, a 13-game improvement from last year. So this is sort of where I wanted our team second year. Uh, maybe 60 wins would have been nice. But 51-31 and 31 is really good. Harden wins MVP. These are all the things here. Six man of the year. Gordon Hayward. Dang, man. I hope he can actually do that in real life. Dang, bro. Looking forward to it, Gordon. Um, and then most improved is Gordon Hayward. Dang. He hit 16 in 2019, man. I, think, I don't know, man. If he can get over that injury that happened to him, I think. And Ty Lue is on the rock. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, because we signed Mike D'Antoni. I'm sorry, Houston. Uh, seems like he did pretty good anyways. But here's everything. We don't have any. Oh, we have all NBA third with Kyrie and D'Lo. Let's go, man. And then no nets there. No nets here. Oh, we have James Wiseman. All rookie second. All right, I'll take it. Um, With the minutes he played, I think that's pretty good. Um. Let's check our players. Well, what seed are we? We are the second seed against Philly. The revenge match from last year, which is really good. And this is where I wanted our team to be. 22 from Kyrie, 7 assists. D'Lo, 28 and 1, or 20 and 8, sorry. Um, with 8 assists, really good, which is where I wanted this team to be last year. But I'll take it, D'Lo. Uh, Jabari, 13, 7 and 3. Not horrible. Um... Karis Levert, 11, 3, and 5 assists, shooting 46% from the field. Dinwiddie, 10, 5, pretty much 6 assists. So we have a lot of assists here for sure. Jared Allen had 10 and 9 rebounds. James Wiseman had 10 and 5, dang, or 9 and 5. Dang, man. He could be a really good team or player for this team. He's an 83 now, too. Miritich had 8 and 5 there as well. Torian Prince had six, and then that's it for that. Let's check our team stats. We probably be tied. Yep, number two in points per game. Defense was what? what 12th ish, I guess. It's not horrible. Um, and then our point differential is third. Definitely a top three team in the league, I think. I believe. Um, and so yeah, that's everything there. Let's we're playing the Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons, Clay Thompson, Julius Randle. This seems actually really good. And Kelvin Johnson come off the bench. So we're down 1-0. We're down 2-0. Don't go down 3-0. 1-2-1. Come on. 3-1. What? We're going to get bounced in the first round? This team is good, dude. 2K simulation is trash. I did literally got bounced in the first round like every game or every playoff series last rebuild too. I'm not trying to have this happen again. Come on. Win the dang game, man. Come on, Kyrie. Step up. Yeah. Where's the finals, Kyrie? Make him a problem. Oh, yes. Let's go. Okay, we're taking it to a game seven. I just, I, I this, the Sixers team is good. I don't know how they're a seventh seed, but I mean, dang, dang, dang. Blow out game seven. Let's go. The Sixers blowing a 3-1 lead, man. Let's go, dude. All right, um, let's simulate the current round. That really scared me. I was not trying to get bounced there. That's for sure. So we're playing Toronto, Kyle Lowry, Kawhi, Jack Diallo. All okay. No, they have Pascal Siakam. I don't know why. He maybe started. They have a lot of power forwards, a lot of tall dudes, pretty much. Um, so maybe we can win it. Uh, we're going down 1-0. 1-1. Can we go up 2-1? 
No, we cannot. Can we not go down 3-1? Thank you. 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. Two. Oh, my God, dude. We're about to get eliminated. Come on, man. This simulation is trash. Watch. Nick's about to sweep them. Watch it happen. They still, Okay, they go and gentlemen sweep. Them. My bad. Okay, never mind. I guess this Toronto team is pretty good. I think this team is really good. Um, But, I mean, all of our players are going to be regressed. So, we're going to go to season number three. I'm going to simulate pretty much the whole entire offseason. I'm going to keep our players. And I'll see you guys with our rotation for next season. Um, Our final last, our, our last and final season, season number three. Alrighty guys, so we're going to do this trade here really quick. So we're going to trade Miritich and Torian Prince and then a first 2025 for John Collins and then Denny Avdija, um, which I think is really good. We're trading an 81 power forward for John Collins and then small forward this guy for Torian Prince here. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. I don't care. All right, so that's the trade. This team is definitely pretty good. We also had to literally give up like the house for... What was it? Jarrett Allen and like Karis Liver and a bunch of other guys. So I'm gonna see you guys with our new rotation here at Coach Game Plans. This is our start rotation for season number three, our last and final season. D an F thirty five, Irvin thirty five, Levert twenty six, John Collins thirty, Jarrett Allen thirty, Dinwiddie twenty six or six man, Wiseman twenty five is our seventh man. I kinda wanted to switch Wiseman and Dinwiddie, but I'm gonna sort of leave it as it is. And then this small forward 81 overall, 18, um, and then 15 to Parker. And I would, I don't, they wanted me to start Denny over um, Levert, but I haven't seen anything from Denny. So until I see something, he's not going to start. Maybe in the playoffs, if he does better, for sure, he'll definitely start. Um, scoring preference is none. And then our system proficiency is literally four and a half, which is really nice. What if I move, um, the video yeah nah it doesn't really change anything so Levert will definitely be there and then our power rankings here are going to be a nine 2k sports has at what's 24 dang 2k don't like us and then nine I think we could I, I I feel like we can win a chip this year I mean if we don't it's just disrespect for sure I'll see you guys at the end of season number three our last and final season Alrighty guys, we ended up going 59 and 23, which is a eight game improvement from last year. We lost the final game, so we're one game away, obviously, from 60 wins, which sucks. But I mean, I'll take it. 59 and 23 record. Jalen Johnson, rookie of the year. Cole Anthony, six man. Anthony Davis, defense player of the year. And dang, he balling out. Isaiah Stewart, most improved. Tyron Lue gets coach of the year. Don't know how. We literally got one more win than him, but I mean, whatever. Um. See if we have any nets here. Uh, if we'll switch, thank you. We have Kyrie, All NBA second team, no All NBA third team. There, there, nothing, nothing here, which kind of sucks. We are a first seed. Um, alrighty, let's check our player stats here. We have Kyrie averaging 25, 3, and 7 day, and then D'Lo 20 and 9. Let's go, shooting 50%. Wiseman 12 and 6. And dang, man, he was literally getting, what, 22 minutes a game. And this homie goes and balls out for 12 points, 6 rebounds. Oh, my goodness, shoot 60% from the field. Karis LeVert, 11, 3, and 5. John Collins, 11, and 9. I'll take it. Jarrett Allen, 11, and 9. Oof, man. I mean, dude, these numbers from this guy is nuts, dude. We, I kind of think about starting him, but... We'll see how the first round goes. Dinwiddie, 10 um, off the bench. And then Avida, Avidahia, whatever the heck his name is. Definitely get 8. Depending on how the first series go, we might start him over Levert. I mean, Levert is giving us 11 minutes a night. But I feel like a lot of room for improvement there. So let's check our team stats here. Our points per game. Dang, number 1. Our defense, number 3. Our point differential, number one. From what the stats are saying, we're the number one team in the league. Let's win out in this first round. Come on, baby. 1-1. One, one. Can we go up 2-1? What? Man, I don't trust the Sim, bro. I'm sorry. But, like, to the eighth-seeded Bulls? Come on, man. All right, we're going to blow them out here, which is nice. And then, I mean, I'm not trying to go down 3-1, man. I mean, that's just so, like, really hard to come back from. But, I mean, hey... We are going to win here, going to game, what, six? I don't think it should have to come down to this. 
And we're going to win it. Let's go. We're facing the four-seeded Orlando Magic. Oh, let me submit the current round here. Oh, let's check their team here. Who the Magic? Lamella. Oh, my God, dude. I need to get a new draft class. Is he really going to be an 86 overall? Like, come on, dude. Um, This team is actually really good. Holy cow. Submit game one. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. We're up 1-0. Submit game two. We're up 2-0. Submit game three. Up 3-0. Can we sweep them? No, we cannot. Can we gentlemen sweep them? Don't blow a 3 0 lead. Come on. Are you serious, man? Dude, our team is garbage. Like, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me, man. No way. No way we're blowing a 3 0 lead. Stop it. Okay, really good third quarter from us. Not really good, but it was decent. We're going to get blown out. Are you kidding me right now? This is really happening. 2K Sim is garbage, man. Fucking trash, dude. This team is nuts. And for some reason, we make it to the second round. I just, I don't get it. I truly don't get it. What is... Ugh, Wiseman, we should have started him, man. We should have freaking started him. Look at Jared Allen out here. What was he averaging for the playoffs? 10 and 7? Why isn't probably averaging what? Okay, I mean, it was only 11 and 7. But, I mean, that's still really good for only having 11 minutes. I should have started him. I truly should have started him. Levert was averaging what? 10? And then what was this guy averaging? 7, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what's wrong with 2K Sim, but, uh, I don't know. We're going to have a video out for you tomorrow. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry we couldn't win a finals. Um, but yeah, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a new video.